Welcome to a cup of coffee and unboxing of Pantographic Books Box. This is not sponsored, I'm just madly in love with comics and books. Mm. And as you might see, I have my own little library here at the Café Fancina studio. Uh, everything from there, this book, all the way up to here actually. This is all Fantagraphic books. From here, like from this till this, is just Crumb and some uh, Benjamin Mara. We have uh, John Ryan, of course. Uh, Simon Hanselman has his own little section over there. And uh, the Goblin Girl, which recently came out. And of course, all the other comics. But today we're gonna do an unboxing of this huge uh, package from Pantographics. It's not sponsored, I bought this for my own money. My hard earned comic book artist and painter artist money. Um, I ordered this uh, a while ago, but uh, during Covid and stuff there's been a lot of uh, confusion uh, and shit happening with shipping. I mailed Fantagraphics about this and they sent a, a new package of the books that I ordered right away. So I got this in a few days. Um, so the service of Fantagraphics, great. Um, and I uh, have to specify this is not sponsored, I'm just a huge fan. My biggest dream is to be published by Fantagraphics one day. And um, the two uh, most awesome Publishers, independent publishers in the world is No Comprendo Press and Pantographic uh, Books, which is basically like sisters to me. They're yeah, they're equals when it comes to awesomeness. Uh, no Comprendo Press is a Norwegian publisher, which I'm uh, hoping one day will publish one of my cartoons, Candy Chicken, or uh, uh, some of my other comics. Uh, and then uh, when uh, people realize how awesome I am, <laughs> Pantographics will publish one of my comics. <sighs> the cool thing is I ordered this uh, such a long time ago, this was uh, my Christmas present to myself, so I have no idea what's inside what I do, but I don't remember everything. <laughs> I ordered a lot of popcorn! No, it's not, it's just to keep shit safe. The very secure packaging, I like it. Um, woo! Sticker, never gonna use it though. And there was one on the box as well. I'm gonna save this because I collect stickers. Uh, so when I get the kids that I'm never gonna get, I can show them a sticker collection. Uh, receipts. But there was a sticker on, on the box there. This one right there. So I'm gonna peel that off and stick it to my skateboard. Okay. Fuck yes! Oh. Can we pry up so we don't... I hate collecting all this shit. They are very good at packing. Uh, so the books come always safely. Like, look at this insane huge box. And then this is the order. I'm gonna post the photo of these comics uh, on my Instagram. So you can go check that out afterwards. Um, so you can get a better look. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Fuck yes! I'm celebrating with some coffee here. This is the reason why I spend so much money on comics and books. Because they make me so fucking happy. You can see my honest reaction here. We have this by Noah Van, uh, Van Shivo. I don't know if I say the name right. But please don't step on my Jenko jeans. And he has a short these t-shirts on him. I really like this guy. Uh, I have his other books as well. Uh, that book. uh, the Complete Works of Fante Bukowski. I, the sleeve is off because I sent it to him. And some of my candy chicken comics. And hope to get them signed. Looking pretty grim now. And I think I offended him. So I'm sorry Noah if I did. But I, I was hoping to get a personal signing on the sleeve. Didn't uh, add any postage uh, to him, so maybe I should PayPal him. If, yeah. So this is Bukowski thing that I have from Hunter Bukowski. Really good shit. Uh, so this is his other book. And I really like that it's red. 
on the on the papers the, the details is in everything here I'm not gonna look too much I'm just gonna show you roughly how the graphics are uh, you can go check this out on his Instagram uh, I will be posting these books on my Instagram and link them to their profile so you can find them more easily mm. This I'm very excited about because I've ordered the documentary and uh, a vinyl and some other stuff, t-shirts I think, of Pepe the Frog. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen it, uh, there's a documentary out. Uh, of course I don't remember it on the top of my head right now. But it's about Pepe the Frog, how it became a viral um, like uh, meme for a right-wing crazy fucks. And uh, yeah, but it's based on this and then uh, amazing book and the guy behind it, of course. Oh, it's so embarrassing when I never... Matt Fury. 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 And I like how they have the barcode S on his eyes like that. This is really fucking inspiring. Like cool comics, uh, classic frames. And this, uh, I think this was one of the first like... Uh, Web comics that came, if I'm not mistaken. So really fucking cool. Posting this on my Instagram as well. Ah, oh, we don't have more space, so I have to make some space or get new shelves because another crumb book is in the collection. This I'm really looking forward to. It's uh, your uh, vigor for life appalls me. Robert Crumb letters, 1958, 1977. So this is uh, fuck yeah. Ah, and some artwork as well I'm gonna add I'm just gonna put it uh, right now into there is actually not more room for you crumb so I have to make more space posting this on Instagram as well a oh, paper so funny huh okay that was section one and now we are going for <laughs> I totally forgot about this okay I'm gonna save this for last yes but I totally, th this is the fun stuff when you have um, depression and ADHD. Late at night, I look at Instagram or I see something on YouTube, whatever, and then, uh, or I read a book, a comic book, or a book about comic book artists, etc. And they talk about something about a book, and I check it out, and then I find it, and then I order it. This is one. Yes, yes, yes! One of my favorites, Johnny Ryan. Um, it's called A New Low, really nice big size on this, and really glossy cover, starts burning the nuge, and uh, some prison pit uh, uh, artwork going on in here, fuck yes, oh, I don't know if I can show this, but I can do it really quick, <laughs> you can frame uh, if you want to, one of my, oh my god, <laughs> I can't show it because they're probably gonna do some stupid shit with the video, but there's so much good stuff in here. A lot of colors. Love this guy. Dude, Johnny Ryan, you fucking rule. And if you like uh, Johnny Ryan, you should check out Angry Youth Comics, also from Fantagraphics. Beautiful release. And I have this, the fucking insane prison pit. Look at this. This is like a Bible. And it's just packed with black art and white artwork by Johnny Ryan. Prison Pit. Get it. Really good. And it's really cool on Instagram. Like every time I posted something or uh, left a comment or anything, he usually replies everyone. Like I've seen him replying others. But he al always like thumbs up heart or say something. And he, if he posted something on his story and he asked like, oh fuck what's that comic? Because he has a lot of good shit posting on his uh, site. Then he will actually reply to you directly and answer your questions so John Ryan thank you for being so awesome with uh, us fans of your work love it very inspiring and he also does a video on YouTube I don't remember what it is but it's him and another guy sitting and talking as they're drawing um, I I'm gonna post it on my story on Instagram when I find it a really cool show and get a little bit in depth about John Ryan as an artist this one I'm really looking forward to Flayed Corpse and Other Stories by Josh Simmons and Friends. Hardcover, really beautiful. This is like the dream in my life to have something like this. Okay, the thing that's on, like, 
of course this is right up my alley on the back here on the on the barcode it says fantagraphic books file under comics and graphic novels fiction short stories horror fun failure or as it says comics and graphic novels slash fiction slash short stories slash horror slash fun slash failure rated hard r ultra depressoid <laughs> So this is uh, collaborations and work with Tara Booth, Aaron Franklin, Joe Garber, Ben Horak, Ross Jackson, Patrick Keck, Shana Matusak, Pat Moriarty. Oh, speaking of, Pat, where are you? Oh, I have some Pat work right up here. Oh, shit. Totems. Uh, he's sending me new ones because these got uh, glued together. But Pat used to work at Fantagraphic Books. And... Um, I got to know him through the Fantagraphic books. Where the fuck is he? I don't even know where it is, but it's somewhere in here. But yeah, Pat Moriarty, great artist. Uh, he's been on this, and uh, Anders Nilsson, <laughs> Eric Reynolds, uh, Reynolds from Fantagraphics, James Romberger, and Tom Van Doysen. This, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be very, very dark and uh, beautiful. I can just look at that cover, the graphics on this. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Okay, we can pause frame it, but it's like this. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. I'm so happy. I, if I don't have money to pay the bills, fuck it. Don't care. As long as I can buy books and records. And now th this is a legendary book, uh, a very important thing to have in your collection. I already have it somewhere in here, uh, but it's, uh, I don't have this book, but the, some of the stories. It's The Life and Death of Fritz the Cat, hardcover edition. I think it was a few left of these uh, on the website, so go check it out. Fuck yes, fuck, fuck, fuck yes. I can exp uh, this is a quote from Prum on the back. I can express something with animals that is different from what I put into my work about humans. I can put more nonsense, more, sat more satire and fantasy into the animals. And my comic book character, Ken the Chicken, he's a chicken, but it's... it's so I can relate heavily to this. I'm gonna warm up the spine, like, a, like a Gen Comics or what he's called, Gen, Gen Comics, when you do like this. And you flip the pages like this, and you flip the pages like this, and you warm up the spine so that the glue doesn't get fucked up. Uh, Crumb really inspired me to take it up a notch when it comes to putting in details in your drawings, like lines and lines upon lines, and just crumb that in there. Got it? Crumb it in. We're down to the last book. What can it be? I can give you a hint. It was something that uh, can remind of the word pee, pee And we just saw another book from the same dude. But this one... Oh. <laughs> wow! Holy shit! This is the cool thing about books. I'm, I'm touching it right now. I'm touching the pee, -pee. The frog! This is Mine Viscosity Matt Fury. You can't see it. And you can't really feel it, but can you? Maybe you can see it. This is 3D, like it's, uh, and it's the cover. It's soft. I didn't know that. It's a hardcover edition, but it's the actual book. It's like soft, like pillow uh, plastic thing. One of my favorite things to do, especially when it's wrapped like this, is to always have a razor blade. In case of a bad day. No, don't cut yourself, kids. Cut that out. Uh, I used to cut myself, but it's... Get tattoos instead. Or start doing comics. I'll promise you that's self-destructive enough. Wow, this book was even more... Like, I saw... They wrote about it. That hologram uh, 3D. Like, can you see that? I knew that, but... Wow! This is why you buy books, people. This is why you buy them and own them and have them. Or go to the library at least uh, and use them. Because this is fucking amazing. You don't need Wi-Fi to read a fucking book, you know. You don't need anything. You just need the book and your eyes. And your nose. Wow, this was a beautiful release. It's like 
and you see how thick the cover is it's like oh fucking hell like this this is the most beautiful uh, and the back the spine I'm gonna warm it up properly but we're just gonna jump into like some beautiful beautiful illustrations there like this dude fucking rules makes me want to go straight to my drawing table now and that's what I'm gonna do afterwards that's why I want to open this I got this just a couple of a uh, couple of minutes ago all these books so fucking cool Matt you're a fucking genius some really pretty girls here and really really cool shit some dark stuff as well I love that Wow, can't wait to uh, look at these books tomorrow morning. I always read in the morning. Jesus Christ, so good, so good. Matt Fury, Mind Viscosity. All these books that I've shown you now are from Fantagraphic Books. You should buy books from the publisher or your local independent bookstore because it's so damn important that we support them. Because without them, you're just going to get mediocre commercial crap. Because that's what sells, sadly. That's why it's so important to support underground artists. Because without them, the world is shit. And that includes myself, people. Buy my comics. Because you are actually helping me survive. All these fucking nice books from Pantographic Books. Not sponsored. Just fucking obsessed with comics. Thanks for watching. Go to my Instagram to watch these. And um, I will put a photo of all of these. And uh, follow them on Instagram for more stuff of theirs. Because it's fucking amazing. Go check out Fantagraphics. I will link their website down below. And they always have like cool pre-orders. Like I've pre-ordered The Crisis Zone by uh, Simon Hansemann. You can also check out that video uh, here in the link. Uh, which I review one of his books. And... Um, uh, if you pre-order it, you get a calendar for 2022 by Simon Hansemann. A lot of cool other stuff like mini comics and stuff that you get when you order it directly from Pantographics. Inspired by that, if you buy comics from my website, Ken the Chicken Volume 3 and uh, Mensuni Monster Magazine Volume 15, or The Dogs Volume 2, you get a free bonus comic, uh, Coffin Comics, that is all uh, only available when you buy it from my website. But support my stores to buy... Uh, that sell my comics, which is Shabby Records, Apollon Records, uh, Root and Tattoo, Krims Krams, and uh, then Lille Book Vitikken, uh, Tonsmo Bookhandle in Oslo, Big Dipper, and uh, uh, oh, almost a Moonshine Record Shop. Oh my god, my brain is still. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! It's in the link below. Moon. Record store. Moon. Fuck! <laughs> it's in Fredrikstad. I'm sorry, Chex. I forgot it in, in the top of my head. But yeah, check out kaffeenscene.com for more info though. Uh, this is a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. New video out every Friday and I always do live stream where I paint and draw and you can buy um, original paintings, blah 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 and stuff. Go to my Instagram. See it all there. Kaffeenscene, link below. Thank you for watching, people. Have a nice weekend. Make yourself a cup of coffee and read a really good comic book. Uh, and if you guys, Panda Graphics, no compra, no press, just saying, uh, or anybody out there has a comic uh, book or books or uh, whatever, and you want me to do a video like this, and uh, just send me. The address is below. Send it to me, and I will say, have a good weekend, Kim. Ending the video right now. All right. Say good weekend. Good weekend. Yes. Oh, wait. We're going to get... Just look at the books and let me hear your reaction. Look at the books. You're not filming. I'm not filming you, Kim. Look. What is it? Yes. What do you think of the books? Is Are they beautiful? I don't see any matter. Uh, I'm talking to him. Do you think they're beautiful? Yeah, Feel this book. <laughs> Feel this. Just touch it. No, I can't see you. I can't see you. I can't see you. Touch the book. Huh? Mind viscosity. The Matt Fury book he's touching right now. I'm telling people that's why they should buy books.
because it's so much better to feel and touch and smell. He smells the book just like me. Huh? Some fucking good books, man. And with that, we're just gonna mm -hmm. we're just gonna sniff mm -hmm. books then and enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Peace. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. And bye.